Hello, and welcome to this brief tutorial on ProtoShare for Jira. I'm Andrew Mota, I'm the CTO and founder of ProtoShare. And what I want to cover today really is just how ProtoShare works in your Jira environment. So we're not going to cover the ProtoShare editor. We're not going to cover what you can do with ProtoShare. There are lots of other videos for that. What we really want to look at today is just how it works in Jira. So let's get started. We're on the Jira system dashboard. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an issue. And I'll just call this test issue. Hit create. And then I will open the, I'll click the link to open the issue. Now, those of you that are familiar with Jira, you'll recognize this screen immediately. It looks like a standard issue screen. The main difference with ProtoShare for Jira is that you'll have this ProtoShare design section. And with a new design, what we're going to see is there's a new design button and there's a little message that says you have no ProtoShare designs. So to add a ProtoShare design, all I have to do is click the new design button. Now that's going to open up the ProtoShare editor. And, you know, for this example, you know, I'm just going to drag over something from our library of stencils and widgets, just so we have something to look at. Um, if I go into test mode, you'll see that there, this has a little functioning dropdown. And then I'll hit save and close. And I'm just going to call this hello world. And I'll hit save. And you'll see that I see, now see the design in my ProtoShare designs panel. If I mouse over that, I'll see the controls that you have for a given design. And they are pretty straightforward. There's a view option, there's an edit option, and there's a delete all versions option. Now which of these you see is gonna depend on what your JIRA permissions are. But I will say that anyone who can view a JIRA issue is gonna be able to see any ProtoShare designs that are attached to that issue. So to view and interact with, with the design, all you do is you click the view icon and it opens it up in a new tab. And you'll see I've got a functioning prototype. I'm going to close that. You notice the new design button is still there because you can have as many ProtoShare designs on a given issue as you want. So for this next one, I'm just going to work with something that I've already built. A little login panel. I'm just going to copy that and paste it. And then I'll hit save and close on this. And we'll call this login. So you'll see I get, my, I get my next design here. One of your stakeholders logs in, they click the view button. You know, they're able to interact and play around with this. And you know, can take a look at it. And you know, this is, this is a moderate level of fidelity. I mean, one of the things that we found and why we recommend higher fidelity prototypes is that it really helps to get your stakeholders engaged. Using low fidelity prototypes, I think it definitely has its place. It's great for, you know, for making sure that you're on the same page with people. But what we find is that with low fidelity, you're asking people to use their imaginations. And as opposed to doing that, they tend to just make assumptions and they don't test their assumptions. So, so for instance, with that login panel, maybe this stakeholder could add a comment and say, we need to support Facebook. Go ahead and add this comment. And then as a developer, I might come in and see that and say, oh, you know what? He's right. Click the edit button. And again, I'm going to use something that I've got canned over here. Just copy this. So I click save. And, and what you'll see is that my login panel that I did have without Facebook was replaced by this login by this uh, new login panel with the Facebook login button. And the other thing that happened is when I added that, a show revisions link appeared in the ProtoShare designs panel. So if I click this, what I'll see is that ProtoShare uses Jira's functionality to save a historical version of every edit that you make. So whenever you hit save and close in the ProtoShare editor, you're gonna get a new, a new revision of that prototype. And with the revisions, you can view the revisions and interact with those. You can also edit them, which is the function that you use to restore those. So if I wanted to restore the one that didn't have the Facebook login, I could click the edit button, the restore version. You'll see that my save and close button has changed to a restore button. Um, so if I wanted to restore just the plain one, I could click restore. Um, if on the other hand, another function you can do from any, any uh, panel that you've got open is to save as. So if I wanted to save this as an alternative, I could say, you know, alternative, no Facebook, and hit save. 
So then I could see those right, right alongside each other. One other thing you might have noticed is, you know, as we create these versions, our attachment list keeps growing. And you'll see that for each revision and for each design, there's an attachment. And ProtoShare uses the attachments as where, where it stores its data um, when you're editing. And there's a nice side effect to this, which is ProtoShare's data is stored as a file with an HTML extension. So what this means is that if you want to browse a prototype offline, or if you want to email it to someone, or you want to host it on a regular web server and take a look at it, you can just click it, and download it to your desktop. And if you open it in a browser, you'll see that you've got your fully functioning prototype. So one last thing that I'd like to point out is that when you have the editor open, there's a help menu available, and that'll give you links to our user guide, to video tutorials, and to our user forum. We also have live chat available, and you can find that on our website, and that's available from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time, Monday through Friday. So that covers it. I hope you found this informative. Send us feedback. We would love to hear what you think. Thank you.